Okay, <clears throat> every effect has the power parameter, and you can see here, bam, bam, it's on and off, just like clicking on a, you know, on an effect pedal, on and off. This power is in the... Turn the retune speed all the way up if you don't, you know, you don't want to turn the power off. Right, is another way to pretty much bypass yeah. auto-tune, yeah, without actually having to switch it on and off, yep. Yeah. Call. Yeah, it, you should be aware. Some people have been telling me some effects they produce a click when turning on and off, if there's audio on it. Yeah, it'll it'll have a click. So you just want to turn the retune speed all the way up. Yeah, so let's let's just try that then. Retune speed, right? You can map it to, even though it's a fader knob, you can map it to a button, and, and you then... can say you can say toggle. Uh, not toggle, maybe monetary. Yeah, see, so I'm, I'm pressing here, and once it, when when the light is on, it's on maximum, and when the light is off, it's on minimum. Which you can also set, as we see there, minimum percentage and maximum. Percentage. Yeah. So if you didn't want the auto tune to revert back to 400. You could say, okay, this is the auto tune, and that could even be changed yeah. for preset or channel strip, right? What your minimum is to get you back to the retune speed that you want. Yeah. So if, song. if your minimum is 51, then your minimum you just set this at the correct percentage, right? 29, 39. I mean, this is a percentage, so you will have to calculate, do some maths, but yeah. Totally. Yeah. Earl said perfect, which it really cool. is. <laughs> it really, really is. Oh, it's awesome. There's another example that I actually wanted to show about autotune. So we can, we can, I can just show this. Uh, even though you can map, I don't know how strong are the possibilities to map directly in autotune, but you can, um, something that I've been asked a few times is to change the key for a certain song, right? So let's say Gargarin is in D, Hindu is in G. So let's, how can we make that happen on the Antares? Um, I'm gonna use the same clips I did before, but instead of, of notes, I'm going to use CC. Now, how do you use CC in a dummy clip? If you don't know this, you have to go here in the envelope box you have here MIDI control. This is basically CC. And all these numbers are CC numbers, even though they say something. They're, you know, maybe CC1 is modulation in general, breadth, whatever. Just click on whichever. And clicking B, you will start to draw something. I think it's so, only pitch bend that gets funky, right? Like, isn't pitch bend like. I feel it is like not if. I mean, if you change it. Wait. Yeah, exactly. I think from one. Yeah, from one on. One, one, one on. It's it's really CC. Maybe even zero. I'm not sure. Thirty-eight maybe... might be weird too, right? Like data fine. There's another one that gets weird sometimes. Let's, let's I try. Skip. Let's try. I, I I the most I've tried, they just work like CC. So let's hit it on the key. It's CC thirty-eight. See, so it's nothing special. You see, in a, in my app, it's showing CC thirty eight. Cool. So yeah, I thought there might have been a weird, another weird one somewhere up there that did like only all the way off, but that might just be a bomb thing or something. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I lost lost my train of thought there. Sorry. Okay, let me let me just continue my one mine. <laughs> so then, uh, yeah, we mapped the the key function. Okay, let's let's click on it, see what happens. The key is F for some reason. But let's let's loop this, so we see the changes. It's gonna be looping now, so I'm just gonna change the velocity here, and look at the key, right? It's basically from zero to 128. You get from C to, I guess from to C to B. The key being in the middle of auto tune up in the top, that small blue box. Yeah, look at this area. So let's say I want D for this song. I'm just going to search it for it a bit manually. Okay, 30 is fine. And let's let's copy this here. I'll let him do. And for this one, I want G. So I'm just going to play 
the same this is the same mapping remember is cc38 because the mapping here has to match cc38 it's only one mapping but what's different is the velocity so i'm gonna play this again looped and i'm gonna search for g okay there's my g perfect now i can disable the loop because you don't want to keep you know keep this loop going and always changing your key you just want to change it once so again i'm gonna start my song bam i'm auto-tuned in d i'm gonna start my song i'm auto-tuned in g easy you, you said velocity but i'd be remiss not to clarify it's like the bit depth or value you know bit value of that cc because i feel like velocity might have confused people to think it was the velocity of a note Right. Yeah, I guess I I call it lost in my mind, but it's okay. yeah. Okay. Yep. Just it, want to make sure it wasn't going to lose. Focus. Exactly. Yeah. You, that's the probably the right, the correct the technical term. Yeah. CC value. Yeah. CC value. Yeah. CC. I don't know how it's called, but you can control it here. Which appears like velocity, right? It's like one CC, but you're looking at zero to one twenty seven, but just isn't quite in the same wheelhouse as like velocity of a note. So I yeah, I mean, you know, technically. In theory, you could achieve the same thing with the velocity of a note, honestly. So let's just, I'm gonna show you how this works and what the problem is with the note. So let's map this again. I'm gonna start this. So now it's mapped to the note, okay? So let's see, is it changing? Let's loop this to make some changes. Let's change the velocity. You see the keys changing, right? The keys changing here. But the weird thing is when the note ends, bam, it drops to C. Why is that? Because a note sends two values. It sends first when it when you hit the note, it sends velocity in how much it is here. I cannot see it. Yeah, it sends velocity sixty something. And then when it ends, it sends velocity zero. So the problem with the note, it sends two values. See, it goes to F sharp, but then goes to C back. So in theory, you can achieve a lot of things with notes using their by using their velocities. They work in the same way as with the CC, but you have to bear in mind that at the end you will get a note value with the velocity zero, which might screw up your setup.